<laughs> Coach, a 10-0 run there late in the fourth quarter by that second unit. What can you say about their performance for you guys tonight? Well, it's uh, three games in a row now. It's kind of the same script. Uh, starting lineup is not really playing the way they need to play. And uh, we rely on our bench unit of Monte, Malik, Juancho, Atori with Trey and Mason. And those guys, all three games, have played uh, terrific basketball. So give them a lot of credit. This is the second game in a row where those guys came in and you know, saved the game and got the win for us. So uh, a lot of respect for those guys. You talk about having the same mentality regardless of the opponent. What's your message to the starters after tonight's game? Uh, the same as it was going into the game. You know, we, we, we need to start playing. Uh, our starting group collectively is, is, is not performing at the level they need to. Uh, and that's not to say you know, making every shot or not making mistakes, but you know, um, you know, the, the regular season starts in 12 days. And, uh, and I don't know what we're waiting for. And we only have two more preseason games. So uh, we just need a greater sense of urgency. And, uh, you know, obviously we'll get back to practice prior, prior to our next game in L.A. against the Clippers. But, um, you know, we need those guys to, to step up and play better. And uh, that, that's just the bottom line. Monte Morris had a stellar point guard mm -hmm. performance tonight. Is that what we can expect from him for you guys? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> you know, uh, Monte continues to impress. Uh, he goes out there, he runs his team, he values the ball. I think he had, what, nine assists, only two turnovers tonight, which is incredible. Uh, making big plays, finding guys. Um, and he, he never seems, uh, you know, out of control. He's always poised. He always knows the right play to make. And I think him, Malik Beasley, the way he's shooting the ball right now, he's shooting into a big basket, uh, very effective, very efficient, and he's defending. And Trey and Mason are playing at a high level. They play so well together. So uh, that group has been terrific, and Monte's a big part of it. Mike, uh, you know, Paul Mills after three games, four for 17, seems like he doesn't really have his rhythm going. Did you just see kind of frustration out of, out of him tonight? Yeah, I think he was frustrated with all the fouls, or, or lack of fouls, if you will. Um, you know, they're, they're a very physical group. Uh, we knew we'd see that tonight. You know, and Paul is a you know, four-time All-Star, and uh, obviously he, he wasn't getting many calls out there. So I think it was uh, not so much frustration for being 4 of 17. You know, he gets a post up, he drives, he dunks, and, um, you know, I think he just wanted maybe a little bit more respect from the officials than he, you know, maybe he thought he got out there. What did you just see from Nicole Jokic tonight? Um... Not a lot, you know. I, I think our starting group as a whole, uh, it, it was not a, a great performance. Uh, and again, not, not in terms of makes, misses, rebounds, turnovers, just sense of urgency. Uh, and that uh, such a big point going into the season because that was an issue for us last year, you know. And uh, just thinking we can show up and play, and when we just think we can show up and play, we don't play well. And and against an NBA team, we'd have got blown out tonight. Um, so I hope sooner or later we're gonna learn from our mistakes. We're gonna grow up. Uh, and again, that's not just Nicole, that's everybody. That's one through 15, that's our, uh, myself as a head coach. We have to be better, we have to have a greater sense of urgency and play to a much higher uh, standard every single night. Can I ask you about your opponents from an Australian perspective? You are 20 points up, they got back to one. What impressed you about them tonight? Uh, obviously, uh, Bryce Cotton had a hell of a game. You know, uh, you know, known Bryce from Providence College. Uh, got some, some experience in the NBA, but he was terrific tonight. You know, he was a guy that led them in scoring with 33 points. Um, but uh, we knew this wouldn't be an easy game. Obviously, after the game in Utah, those guys had pride. Uh, they're tough, they're physical, and they compete. And, uh, and they did that tonight for 48 minutes. So I have a lot of respect for, uh, for them and the job they're doing. Australians constantly get asked the question, is Bryce good enough to come back here? What's your opinion based on the limit of the match you just saw? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, he's played in the NBA before. Um, and, and I think he's shown that he is good enough to be on an NBA roster. Uh, obviously, right now, he, he feels he has a good situation over there playing for Perth. And, uh, you know, if he's happy, you know, uh, good for him. And if he wants to come back, I'm sure there are teams that would be interested in having him back. Talking to the guys in the locker room, does this feel like it can be a wake-up game for these guys to kind of get them back going with the starting unit? Uh, I mean, you can ask those guys that. I mean, I was woken up April 11th. Third game in a row, Malik has shot the ball pretty well. It's just how comfortable does it look out there to you? Uh, it looks very confident, you know, uh, and, and that confidence is a byproduct of a lot of hard work in the gym. Um, so, uh, you know, he's, he was 7 of 10 from 3 going into tonight, and he shot, shot it really well again. Uh, so hopefully that consistency is there. That's going to be the biggest challenge for Malik. Uh, can he shoot like this consistently? Uh, but I think just the way he's playing right now, 
under control, not trying to do too much on offense, taking open shots, and then defensively really adhering to the game plan, having discipline. Uh, you know, it's great to see him play at the level he's playing at. Last question. 